the heat. <laughs> it is <laughs> certainly bring. That. Yeah, Kimberly, uh, I know a lot of people were hoping that they wouldn't have to use the AC again as we entered October, still in fall, but unfortunately, I'm sure a lot of people have been cranking it up lately because we were yeah. warm today, and unfortunately, that warming pattern is going to help us finish off the week. Let's go ahead and give you a live picture right now. Nothing but clear skies. That clearing has allowed for rapid warming, so it's really pretty outside. It's just really warm. The highs came in through the National Weather Service. Here's what we topped out at in downtown San Diego. We've reached close to 85 degrees. 82 was the high for Coronado in Escondido and Poway. We were close to 100 degrees and this afternoon Alpine hit a high of 95. We're still really warm across the board. 89 is a pretty popular number right now for Escondido and Ramona mid 90s still along the 15 in Fallbrook. Meanwhile, we're still pushing close to 80 degrees for a lot of our coastal communities, including Oceanside in downtown San Diego. And we're also continuing to track those easterly gusts close to 30 mile per hour winds in Big Black Mountain 15 right now in Julian as well as Harrison Park. So because of the windy conditions and the dry air and the warm temperatures, uh, fire danger is going to continue to be elevated for at least the next couple of days. Now temperatures tonight, if you're hanging out outside, it will be comfortable in the low 60s across our coastal and inland areas for the mountains will be in the mid to upper 50s and for the desert areas will drop down to the mid to upper 60s. Here's what's happening aloft our satellite and radar picture. We just continue to have this dome of warm air sitting parked over California. Peak warming will occur tomorrow before high pressure weakens and that will allow for a trough that's currently centered over northwestern Mexico to influence us a little bit in the form of subtropical moisture. So those are the changes we have this weekend, but we're still going to deal with the heat as we finish off the week. We have a heat advisory that's still occurring for the inland areas all the way through tomorrow night. We're expecting highs to be anywhere from the 90s to the low hundreds, especially for those warmer spots. So here is a recap of the highlights of this autumn heat wave. The heating pattern will last us all the way through the end of the week. We'll have elevated fire danger with dry, hot air and periods of gusty easterly winds. And then we'll have minimal weakened cooling. We'll still be warm, but still above seasonal this weekend. But we'll have the influence of the marine layer cool us off a bit, especially for the first half of the day. Coastal areas will be in the low 80s, 70s, all the way through Thursday. Everyone fills a cool down middle of next week. For the inland areas, we'll be close to 100 tomorrow. But then temperatures for the inland areas will drop down about 5 to 10 degrees this weekend. For the mountain areas, if you're headed towards, let's say, downtown Julian, just make sure that you're dressing appropriately because it was really cool last weekend. This weekend, a completely different story. We'll be in the low 80s. Desert highs will still trend near that century degree mark all the way through Monday with some slight cooling Tuesday and Wednesday. Kimberly. Thank you, Vanessa. And now 10 News Time Saver Traffic with Officer Mark Latulip. Hi, Mark. Hi, Kimberly. And you know, it's